I'm joined in studio by Scott Kundal. Now he's a SA champion, Shaolin Kung Fu medalist and a champion for consumer rights in South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us today. Jerusha, thank you very much. Now I have so many questions that I want to ask you ranging from Kung Fu to business. So let's start out with Kung Fu. How did you get involved? Well, they say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And uh, eight years ago, I met the teacher that uh, basically introduced me to Kung Fu. And uh, I knew immediately that that was the guy that I wanted to train with. So I all got started by meeting the, the great teacher in my life, uh, Liu Shuameng. And from then, it's just been a, an, amazing, an amazing experience. Now, with that great teacher, you've gone on to represent our country, to win gold medals. Tell us about some of your achievements. Uh, it's been wonderful. I mean, uh, um, the South African uh, Wushu Federation, which represents Kung Fu in South Africa, is growing uh, tremendously. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Uh, and yes, we uh, represented the team in China in September last year, so it was quite recent. Incredible experience. It's actually the largest martial arts tournament in the world by 2,000 competitors from 45 different countries. And it was an amazing experience. Uh, uh, South Africa was well represented. Uh, represented. We had, I think we won about 13 medals in total. So it was really, really great. It was an incredible experience. Talk to us about Kung Fu in South Africa. Is this um, something that's on the up? Do we have a strong Kung Fu base in the country? Definitely, it's growing. I mean, it's a small sport. Um, I think a lot of uh, Kung Fu has kind of got this mis mystery you know, it's got this kind of stigma attached to it where it's like kind of very ancient, very Eastern, and it does have that aspect to it. Um, but it's not only reserved for movies. It's also reserved for, you know, to, to, to really learn a very ancient art. Um, Shaolin Kung Fu is the oldest, considered the oldest martial art in the world from which other martial arts originated from. So it originated in the Shaolin, Shaolin Temple uh, almost 2,000 years ago, one and a half thousand years ago. So it's got an ancient heritage and it's, it's very special. Um, and it has helped my business endeavors quite substantially. And it's, uh, it's a really amazing uh, um, sport to get into. Um, and we've watched South Africa really growing. And, um, and you know, our school is doing well. Leo Shaming is a fantastic teacher. And the Wushu Federation has really put a lot of hard work into, into building the sport in South Africa. Now, for somebody who's listening to this and is interested in finding out more, what type of person is best suited to learning or practicing Kung Fu? Anyone. And this is interesting about martial arts and it's really how I started you know sort of connecting in business because martial arts helped me in business without really realizing it to start with it was very kind of almost unconscious or subconscious but anyone can start Kung Fu and the reason for that is because you'd be surprised at how soft Kung Fu should be now martial arts is actually very soft it's got this reputation of being very hard and very strong but actually the power comes from a very soft approach it's kind of considered the kind of masculine feminine uh, magnetic, electrical, different types of energies. And it's actually very soft. So anybody can actually learn Kung Fu no matter how old you were. I started when I was 32, which sounds extremely old. Most kids start when they were kind of four or five. So you can start at any age and you can literally be anybody.